Solar freaking roadways. What are they? They're solar freaking roadways. What do they want from me? Well, they're solar freaking roadways. Okay, so actually this time, what is it? It's technology that replaces all roadways, parking lots, sidewalks, driveways, tarmacs, bike paths, and outdoor recreation surfaces with solar panels. And not just lifeless, boring solar panels. Smart, microprocessing, interlocking, hexagonal solar units. No more useless asphalt and concrete just sitting there baking in the sun, needing to be repaved, and filling with potholes that ruin your axle alignment on your sweet ride, bro. These are intelligent solar panels. Replace the panel at a time if damaged or malfunctioning. They're covered with a new tempered glass material that has been designed and tested to meet all impact, load, and traction requirements. Oh, and did I mention that they're also solar panels? They generate electricity. They generate capital. They pay for themselves, and they keep paying more because we're not going to run out of sun for like 15 billion years. That lowers the cost of energy, unlike those bills in the mail that keep going up. And it's clean energy. Everyone can theoretically drive an electric car with no pollution and a minimal carbon footprint. Can you imagine how good our cities would smell? How much healthier we'd all be? Excuse me, young man. Am I being led to believe that this thing is some sort of thing? Yes, it's a thing. A real thing. And clean energy is only its primary function. Grab a notepad, because this is where it gets interesting. For those in the north, the panels use energy they collect to power elements to keep the surface temperature a few degrees above freezing. They're heated. No more ice and snow on roads causing traffic delays, accidents, and injury. No more shoveling your driveway and sidewalk. No salt corroding your car. Or wasting tax money on snow removal. And you can ride your bike or drive your motorcycle all year round. Whoa! Every panel has a series of LED lights on the circuit board that can be programmed to make landscape designs, warning signs, parking lot configurations, whatever. These roads never have to have lanes repainted, just reprogrammed to whatever we choose or whatever works best. Imagine a highway road lighting up ahead of you. How much safer it would be to drive at night. There'd be improved visibility for pilots landing on solar landing strips. Imagine walking onto a solar recreation court and choosing a sports configuration. Wanna play basketball? Cool. Kids wanna play hopscotch in Foursquare? Awesome. Ball hockey? Done. And with LED D lights under your feet, it's gonna look like freaking Tron out there. But real, because this is the real world. Whoa. But these panels are also pressure sensitive, so they can detect when large debris like branches or boulders have fallen onto the road, or if an animal is crossing. It can warn drivers with LED text to slow down for an obstruction. I'm very, you know, environmentally conscious. Good, because solar roadways use as much recycled material in their production as possible. Plus, the roadways have two channels that form what's called a cable corridor that runs concurrently with the roadways themselves. One part houses electrical cables, meaning power lines, data lines, fiber optics, and high-speed internet, which replaces the need for telephone poles and hanging wires that can be damaged during storms causing power outages or become extremely dangerous if severed either as fallen live wires or buried cables. The other channel captures and filters storm water and melted snow, moving them either to a treatment facility or treating them on site, greatly decreasing the amount of pollution that enters our soil, lakes, rivers, and oceans. I'm kind of broke, bruh. Yeah, no kidding. The economy is in the toilet. Do you realize how many thousands of jobs this could create and sustain? Talk about a hypodermic adrenaline shot to the heart of the manufacturing and infrastructure sector. And it pays for itself. They're solar freaking roadways. Um, I have concerns about the future. Is this thing even possible? I told you, yes. Solar roadway technology was invented by engineering couple Julie and Scott Brusaw in 2006. Two of the sweetest people in the world who met when they were three and four years old. Listen to these two. Hi, we're Scott and Julie Brusaw, inventors of solar roadways. We met in the 1960s when we were three and four years old. These wonderful, intelligent people People want to begin manufacturing a technology that can power the future of the whole freaking planet. They were awarded a contract from the Federal Highway Administration to build two prototypes which are now complete. They're too humble and wonderful to yell at you over the internet, so I'm gonna do it. You need to know about this technology. You need to get behind it. You need to share it with everyone you know, because this is actually happening. Whoa! For the first time in human history, we have the technology to do what nature has done since the beginning of life on this planet. Harness the power of the sun to fuel our pursuits. And this isn't about filling a field with solar panels wasting land. Our roads and parking lots are just sitting there, reflecting sunlight and absorbing heat, not doing nothing for nobody. Which I guess means it's doing something for somebody, but not very much. It's time for an upgrade. We have to make the changes we want to see in the world. The FHWA has provided the startup funds to create the prototypes, but now a grassroots effort of concerned and inspired people can push this project into independent production. If we vote with our money for projects we believe in, we can create a future where our society is driven by new ideas. It need only begin with private driveways and parking lots. Once the ball gets rolling, it'll create a momentum all of its own. Let's put our roads to work. Not to mention, 
It's finally gonna look like the freaking future out there. City streets, driveways, sidewalks, and schoolyards glowing with LED panels. Are you kidding? Imagine street festivals. Imagine Mardi Gras. Imagine the Movement Electronic Music Festival in downtown Detroit. But all the concrete and hard plaza has been replaced with pressure sensitive panels with multicolored lights in them. I would lose my mind. And not to mention the freaking solar panels. It has been estimated that if all the roads in America were converted to solar roadways, the country would generate three times as much energy as it currently uses. Think about that. An abundance of clean energy energy. So quickly, in review, love biking? Solar roadway. Hate high energy bills. Solar roadway. Love the movie Tron. Solar roadway. Worried about the economy? Solar roadway. Love sports? Solar roadway. Scared of hitting moose? Solar roadway. Hate gasoline prices? Solar roadway. Love helping developing countries? Solar roadway. Hate tar fumes? Solar roadway. Love recycling? Solar roadway. Hate winter driving? Solar roadway. Hate shoveling snow? Solar roadway. Love clean air? Solar roadway. Need a job? Solar roadway. Want to save this planet and make it sustainable for your kids and all future generations of life who can look back and say, hey, at least they invented solar freaking roadways. Please follow the link to Indiegogo.com. Meet Scott and Julie Brusaw, check out their work, and get informed. This isn't just donating. It's an investment in a real future. Let's do this, because finally, it's possible. Will I lose? Thank you. And I could not see. Let me tell you a story. A story of young entrepreneurs born and raised in a privileged environment where love and food are abundant and where the world is a playground just waiting to be explored. And while traveling, they discovered that treasures are relative and can be found where you least expect it. These treasures can be uncovered in the messy and crowded spaces of the urban markets in Kampala, Uganda, where every day thousands of street vendors illegally sell their goods struggling to feed their families and to pay their children's school fees. The treasure of exchanging lives, stories, smiles and hope with Kampala Street Vendors gave us the crazy idea to reinvent an age-old business by empowering the informal economy actors with Masana Carts. Masana Carts are street vending carts which provide clean energy to micro-businesses on the go. Masana Carts give access to solar energy powering customized business features like fridges, cooking stoves, sockets, and mobile money terminals. 
With Masana Cards, we grow legal micro enterprises by providing access to finance and business training. We took this idea to Holt Prize, the world's largest student startup competition with over 25,000 applications, and Masana Cart was selected among the top six global finalists. Each Masana Cart will not only impact the life of one street vendor, but his two co workers as well. This will reduce energy costs and save time, creating additional working hours to sell more products and increase their revenues. The street vendors in Kampala will now be able to invest in the livelihoods of their families and pay school fees more consistently. We need your help to make Masana Carts a reality. We want to change the street vending businesses, making it safer for the vendors, pleasant for the buyers and innovative for the community. This is Masana Carts. Please join us. If you want to be part of this change, contribute now and sponsor a street vendor in Kampala. Thank you. Merci. Arigato. When there is a mess, I instantly start gathering information and begin to work with different functions and materials to come up with a useful solution. Creating technology that is essential and purposeful for everyday life provides me with fulfillment. My name is Eni Kuxi. I am the founder of Breathe and president of the company. My name is Ethan. I'm a painter. I love to express everything I see and think on canvas using a brush and paint. But sometimes it can be a difficult task for me because my work is affected by my pollen and many airborne allergies. Nearly 35 million Americans suffer from airborne allergens. Pollen allergy is one of the most common chronic diseases in the United States and around the globe. Nasal sprays that release steroids in the nasal passage are the most common treatments for this type of allergy. I could not deal with the bad smell, and I had to replace them often, which cost me a lot. There has to be a better way to deal with my allergies, so I can get back to really enjoying the things I do. When it comes to air pollution, it is one of the biggest challenges humanity faces today, and still there are no concrete solutions on solving this problem. When you breathe in polluted air into your lungs, it can do enormous damage to your body. This looks amazing. I really think if this thing works, it will be the answer that people are looking for, and nobody will go back to those treatments again. When I see this, I wonder, how can it possibly clean the pollutants from the air? When I first talk to people about Breathe, I tell them it uses a powerful module to distribute the perfect amount of negatively charged atoms. Their first response was, no way, it's impossible. And I go, it's real and it's possible. Because Breathe technology is based on a component that generates negatively charged atoms, so-called anions, which are attracted by the pollutants in the air. And when the two particles attach to each other, that's when charge neutralization occurs, compelling air pollutants to stick on a nearby surface, making the air safe to breathe. Breathe technology is special because it comes with a very tiny but powerful rechargeable battery that can last up to 30 hours. It's enclosed in sturdy anodized aluminum and is sure to keep its durability over time. Breathe has been tested and user approved. Everyone who tried it loves it. It is very important to bring Breathe into people's lives as quickly as possible. It can help anyone to improve their breathing conditions and it will significantly reduce respiratory related diseases and ailments. It's a superb device for a healthy way of breathing. Our prototype is finalized and we are ready to continue with mass production, but more pre-orders are needed to ensure each device is tested and meets high standards of quality. So, we are here asking you to give us a hand. Breathe helps by eliminating harmful particles from the air, allowing you to keep the nature always with you. So check this out, this is $99 right now on Indiegogo. This is a touchscreen Cherry Trail PC. There's no Windows 10 license, it includes Windows 10. 
but there's no license fee because it's a touchscreen, so it's like a tablet. And you have uh, HDMI, uh, speaker output, two USB on this side, gigabit Ethernet. You can charge it with that, or you can charge it with a, a micro, micro SD card. Uh, no, my call USB uh, for charging with the power bank and two more USB and one is uh, 3.1 uh, so this is a prototype, the first prototype that just came out uh, from the design house right now and this is going to be $99 on Indiegogo uh, shipping directly from China to the whole world people can have a PC like this you can connect, um, I'm just going to connect a USB keyboard and mouse you can use full keyboard and mouse to do all kinds of stuff with it uh, scrolling around and uh, you can open Edge, Cortana and Twitter and everything in Windows and you can uh, browse around the internet right here uh, so output in the external display with the HDMI or you can use this screen if you want if it has to be some kind of uh, control uh, or pass device or something else and, uh, and then you have this 2.5 inch adapter for a hard drive or SSD you can, it's gonna it is going to fit directly under it somehow. There's a, a solution to connect and power right here. And it's just going to be uh, directly under it. Shipping within this month with a dual band Wi Fi, uh, with a free Windows license because it's a tablet basically. And uh, even there's even a battery for one and a half hours, it can run on a battery. Uh, so, all this included, there it is. Small, very small, uh, all in one. Uh, all-in-one computer